Christian Music Spotlight, Jim Neal here with the stories and testimonies behind the songs of your favorite artists here in Christian Music. And we have someone who's been on American Idol before in season 11. She's from the Northwest. Uh, please welcome Candace Russell to the show. How are you? Hey, I'm great. Thanks for having me. Well, I'll start with uh, your recent, I believe it was a Make-A-Wish type of video that you did here recently in Portland, Oregon. Uh, this person's wish was to make her own music video. Tell us about that and how much fun uh, of a thrill it was to help make this person's wish come true. Oh, it was such an awesome experience for me. Um, there's a girl who's named Blue in the Oregon area, and um, she has cerebral palsy. And so she got together with Make-A-Wish, and her and her family decided that um, they wanted to do a music video because she can't really speak or communicate much, but she loves music, and when she listens to music, she just lights up. And so um, once they decided they wanted to do, to do a music video, they started kind of searching on YouTube, trying to find a local artist. And I guess they came across my YouTube channel, and they said when they played my music for her, she just lit up and really responded to my voice. So they contacted me and asked if I'd be willing to do it, and I said, yeah, of course. And so that's how it all started. And it was just, I love the family. It was just an awesome experience. That's absolutely fabulous to be involved in something like that. Now, of course, your time on American Idol Season 11, what was probably your biggest thrill being on American Idol? Just the whole experience? Did you get to meet anybody in particular that kind of blew you away? What was it about that whole experience for you? Uh, it was it was a pretty cool experience overall, just to, first of all, kind of see how everything works behind the scenes. And, you know, I got to meet Ryan Seacrest and all the judges. And probably the most exciting part was when I got the golden ticket to Hollywood. Um, you know, there's no feeling like it. It was just awesome. Candace Russell here joining with us here on Skype. Tell us how you got started in music. Was it something that kind of um, been with you from a young age, or is it something you picked up a little bit later on? Where did it all start for you here in the Portland area? Um, ever since I was a little girl, I've just always wanted to do music. It's always been my dream. And um, so I started singing in church and singing solos and singing at school. And... Um, that's just kind of where my passion was ignited, ignited, and I just kept doing it. And when I graduated high school um, is when I really decided, like, okay, I want to do this. I want this to be a career. And so I did American Idol, and then shortly after that, I recorded my first album. And it was just kind of a snowball effect, and I'm still going. <laughs> Candace Russell here joining us. Your debut album, of course, I believe it's uh, so much more. Uh, tell us about this debut album and what listeners who may be unfamiliar with the music may expect when they take a listen to it. Um, my album, So Much More, is very personal to me. I wrote all the songs, co-wrote on all the songs, and they're all about my life and things that I've experienced, you know, good experiences and hard experiences. And the title track, So Much More, is really just about um, overcoming obstacles that have been in my life. And I was diagnosed with Graves' disease when I was, um, when I had, shortly after I had graduated high school. And so kind of about overcoming uh, those things. And then it's also just about, you know, in general, when life throws unexpected things at you, just to keep going, keep dreaming, because God made you for so much more. So... Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Candace Russell here joining us for an all new edition of Christian Music Spotlight, the stories and testimonies behind the songs of your favorite artists in Christian music. Time for a little segment we'd like to call Fun Fast Facts, a chance for you to get to find out a little bit more about your favorite artists, some fun random tidbits. If we were to peer into your iPod or CD player at the moment, or however you listen to music, what might we find you listening to on there at the moment? 
Oh my goodness. Well, I love Taylor Swift's new song, Shake It Off. So that'd probably be the first one that you'd find right now. <laughs> Favorite television show at home or on the road? Is there a particular one, maybe besides American Idol, that you like to sit down and enjoy in your spare time? I um, I love TLC. I don't know if, if you know what that is, but all of like the, the wedding shows and all the little reality shows. So basically anything on TLC I'm watching probably. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Favorite uh, place you've gotten to perform so far? Is there a favorite moment or a favorite place you've had in your travels that you've had to perform so far? Um, oh, man, that's hard. Honestly, probably the most recent one was the most fun for me. When we recorded the music video, we recorded it as the, at the Rose Garden Amphitheater. And I remember going there as a little girl and being like, oh, this is so cool. You know, I want to sing here one day. And I got to sing on that stage for the music video. So that was pretty fun for me. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Favorite scripture or person in the Bible that uh, you find yourself closely identifying with? Um, a scripture that I have always loved is James 1, 3 through 4. And it's uh, for, I, for you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. So I love that verse. It's one that I've identified with for a long time now. Nice. Fun fast fact, saving a chance for you to find out a little bit more about your favorite artists in Christian music. Candace Russell joining with us here via Skype for our Olympia and Portland affiliates as well as online at our YouTube page at youtube.com slash Christ Music Spotlight. For those who are looking to uh, write their own songs, be an influence, whether they're leading uh, worship at their church or looking to have a similar uh, outcome as you did and climbing the ranks in, in the music industry, what sort of advice have you learned along the way? Way that you could share um honestly i know you hear this all the time but first of all just never give up because um when you're trying to make it in anything you're going to hear a lot of no's i've heard a lot of no's but it just takes the one yes to really propel you forward and when it comes to writing just don't hold back and um you know writing i think it, for people to identify with a song it needs to be personal and real and raw and so when you're writing just really be honest in what you're feeling and you know don't hold those true feelings back so yeah <laughs> kind of a two-part question as the lord is evolving your songwriting uh, more and more as you go along what would you say might be the funnest part about songwriting and at the same time what might be the most challenging thing about songwriting the funnest part about songwriting for me is when um I finally get to play my song for people and when people tell me like oh my word that song really touched me or I really related with that song um, it's just it makes me so happy because that's the reason I write I write to encourage and inspire people so when they say that they relate to it I feel like I'm doing my job and I would say probably the hardest thing is um, sometimes when you're writing you have to sort of relive moments that were hard for you or, you know, really dig deep into why did I feel this way or, you know, how am I feeling right now? So it's, it's kind of an emotional experience. So sometimes that can be good and sometimes it can be kind of hard. Is there a particular element of, uh, your life may it be you know positive up and downs you know your battle with uh, graves disease your some of your musical triumphs along the way is it all kind of melded together in the music uh, is there some sort of you know examples that you draw from it or is it just kind of a myriad of different things that you're kind of going along in life yeah i mean when you when you listen to the album i would say it really is kind of all my experiences melded into one it's just those are the places I've lived, so those are kind of the things that make me who I am. So the Graves disease and all the other experiences I have are definitely um, apparent on the album when you listen to it. Candace Russell here joining us. Portland, Oregon is where she's from. She's from the Northwest. One of the questions we forgot to slide in there in the Fun Fast Facts segment, since you're from the Northwest, a lot of viewers uh, are, of our audience are from around here. Favorite Northwest hangout? Do you have one? Oh, man. Well... As a true Northwestern person would say, I love to be outside, especially in the summertime. You know, we have such beautiful mountains here and everything like that. Um, 
And when it comes to maybe restaurants or things like that, I love Departures in Portland. It's, I don't know if anyone's been there, but it's like this futuristic restaurant with a great view of Portland. So I love to go there too. Oh, I'll try that out next time in downtown <laughs> Portland. I'm going to have to make that a stop. Candace Russell here joining us here on Christian Music Spotlight. For those viewers, uh, what's coming up down the turnpike for you as far as there is a new album in the works? Is there a little bit more touring kind of in support uh, of this uh, latest release? Is there uh, more songwriting in your future? What's, what's next for you in the near term? Well, I'm always songwriting and always coming up with ideas. Um, right now, I'm kind of focusing on promoting this music video that I just released. And um, definitely writing. And I can't say exactly what's going on, but there's definitely a possibility of um, recording some new songs and releasing them in the future. So keep an eye out. And then my YouTube channel, too. I'm always posting um, covers and things like that on there, so you can watch for that. We will definitely stay tuned for more exciting new details. It looks like this coming year might be fun and exciting for you. For those who are wanting to know, uh, you know a close personal relationship with the Lord, for those who are watching and following up with their favorite artists and their favorite musicians, when, you're, when they're leaving one of your shows and they're listening to your album, at the end of the day, beyond the music, what's the main message of hope that you want them left with at the end of the day? Um, it kind of all comes back to my title song of the album so much more i just want everybody to know and believe that they were made for so much more and they were created with a purpose you know for a purpose and um god is going to use you in your life and just to know even in those moments when you feel down or even when you feel worthless um you are worth so much to god because he created you and he loves you and you have a purpose so i just want everybody to know that for those that are wanting to find out more about your music and find out more about uh, your, your songwriting, your music, find out more about you, where to find you next, uh, where's some website information and social media? You mentioned your YouTube page and stuff like that. Yeah, so my YouTube channel for sure is just Candace Russell, so search for Candace Russell on there. And my website is CandaceRussell.com. <clears throat> And if you just type in Candace Russell to iTunes or Spotify, I'm on those kind of things too. So. Her latest album, so much more, season 11 of American Idol. Before we let you go here as well, is there any favorite behind-the-scenes American Idol stories? Is there any fun stories or anecdotes or any quirky folks down there that you ran into down there? Oh, man. Well, I mean, everybody's seen the show, so you know that there's a wide variety of people. And it was just pretty cool to get to... Um, know all the other people that we're trying out and we're all in the same boat where we're nervous and we want to make it you know and so it was really cool to kind of make friends through that process and um, just know that we're all kind of striving for the same thing I can't, I can't think of any specific crazy stories right now but it, everybody is so talented like I was walking through the halls of the Rose Garden and people are warming up in the hallways and I was just like, oh, my word, like, everybody is so good, <laughs> you know. So it was it was a really unique experience, but very cool. Definitely on mainstream and as well as on the Christian side, we've seen a number of main artists come through there in the last few years, such as Colton Dixon and Mandisa and uh, countless other artists. If there is somebody who is trying out for American Idol who has that opportunity, who has that shot, having gone through it yourself and having actually been on the show, what sort of advice would you give those folks who are going down there and, and trying out for this thing? Um, I would just say go in with a great attitude and just say whether I make it or whether I don't make it, that's okay and I'm going to have a good time. And, um, you know, you don't want to get your hopes up too high, but also great things can happen, you know, and some awesome things happen for me through it. So just try to go in with a, uh, a level head and a good attitude. <laughs> Well, we definitely thank you for your music, and it was great hearing that story and that release about uh, you filming that uh, Make-A-Wish video with uh, that uh, that one uh, blue, as it's called, and it's absolutely fantastic seeing just those faces light up um, when they get those wishes to come true, and thank you for being a part of that and helping to make uh, a local person's wish come true, and thank you for everything you're doing in the music scene with your honest songwriting uh, and your integrity, and thank Thank you for everything you're doing. Much continued success, both personally and professionally, to you as you continue to reach a many uh, with that message of hope and encouragement. So thank you so much for taking some time out to join our show here today. 
Thank you. I had an awesome time talking to you. <laughs> Christian Music Spotlight, Joe Neal here with you. Thank you so much for joining us here today. On the program with us, they have their self-titled release as well as some collaborations on there with some guys you might remember, a Manifest and also one of the members from Pillar. Please welcome the guys from Hardy Avenue. Guys, how are you? Doing terrific. Uh, as we're taping this, it's on Thanksgiving week. Uh, so kind of on that festive note, how are you guys as a band celebrating the holidays back where you are? Spending some time with some family and, and hanging out with some really friends. But yeah. <laughs> nice. Now, of course, your latest release, uh, it's a follow-up to your uh, last successful album. You guys had some very cool collaborations on there with one of the members from Pillar, as well as Manifest. What was it like to uh, have so many great collaborations on this latest release? You know, it was, it was a lot of fun to work with Rob, and uh, I've had a, a radio heat interview, and I, I said the same thing. You know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of friends with him. And, and he's like, so what do you want me to do? I'm like, just do anything, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> so anyway, I'm like, you know, I don't know. He's sitting down. He's like, man, I like, maybe we could go in this, this direction, that direction. It was, it was fun. I mean, seeing, you know, he had a lot of years under his belt, and he had achieved a lot of things, and seeing, uh, you know, him with a humble heart, but yet just trying to help out and trying to promote us. It, 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 was, it was very good. You guys from Hardy Avenue join us. You guys, uh, if I'm not mistaken, are from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, how did you guys get started as a band over there in Oklahoma? Well, right now, we're in Tulsa, Oklahoma. These, the, these two guys, they're from Michigan. And oh. I'm from Seattle. Actually, originally, I was, I'm from Seattle, man. So it was a uh, nice. trip here, man. It's uh, something different. Northwest native, I like that. Uh, from our neck of the woods over here. So yeah, we, we were pretty much neighbors, man. Hardy Avenue, join us via Skype for our Christian Music Spotlight show. What is uh, the rest of 2014 hold for you guys, as well as maybe the start of 2015? Uh, some touring, some more songwriting. Uh, what's next for you guys? Luis, uh, you want to go? You want to say something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a little bit of everything. Uh, yeah, we got some shows coming out. We're uh, definitely writing, already writing new stuff for uh, new things coming out, and uh, we're really excited about all the all the things going on. But yeah, we we signed up with the new management, and uh, we they're out of uh, Cleveland, Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, yes, yeah, so I always I always confuse them with Iowa for some reason. I don't know how Cleveland, but, but, <laughs> but I confuse them. And uh, uh, we went there and, and they actually helped them to promote uh, and shoot a new music video. And uh, uh, we're, uh, what we have to do is, like, under agreement, we, we have to write new stuff until, uh, what is it, the deadline, uh, February sometime, and present a new album or new ideas, new songs, and see where we're going to go, where, where they're going to take us from there. So at this point, it's almost like unknown. I mean, it's a lot. I know they're going to be uh, bringing our stuff to different uh, record labels and different things like that, but at this point it's like, uh, it could be a lot or it could be just playing a bunch of gigs. <laughs> What's your favorite aspect about taking these songs that you guys written and uh, have on CD out on the road with you guys? What's your guys' favorite aspect about touring? Oh, that, there's no greater feeling, no, nothing greater than seeing uh, someone give their life to God. Uh, that's, that's the reason we started this band, that's the whole purpose of this band. Um, that's the reason we give everything that we have uh, strictly for other people because people need to know God. They need to know the love of God um, like we know Him. And uh, for that, we'll gladly do whatever it takes. I, I guess the best story that I have to tell you, we pulled up to uh, Huntington, Arkansas, right? That, that was an awesome, yeah, Huntington, Little Town, Arkansas. And uh, as soon as I get out of the van, I see this girl running to us. and. She came in, she gave me a big hug, and uh, she showed me her arms like this. And her arms are completely all cut up, but she was cutting, she was addicted to cutting. 
and she said, do you remember me? I'm like, uh, I kind of remember you from last year, but uh, not really. And she said, from last time when, I, when you guys were here, you guys prayed for me. Until now, I haven't been cutting. And I completely got out of that, got out of different addictions, this and that. That is the biggest and the coolest thing to see when you are on the road, is, is seeing some change and, and people, seeing them give their life to God. We have another story that, uh, uh, it's almost the same thing happened when, when we pulled up to one gig, a girl came up and said, uh, last time I accidentally stum stumbled across your uh, concert, my mom, who's a meth head, my dad, he's, he's a druggie, he, they both split, and I ended up on the streets, they didn't have anywhere to live, I was going to commit a suicide, it's actually in, in, in our bio. And uh, because of that, your testimony, I gave my life to God, and now she's on the right path, going to college, to school, and you know that—that that is the most, the most amazing thing that that's happening in the world. Yeah. That is absolutely fabulous how the Lord is using you and making a huge impact in lives all across the nation. Uh, it's absolutely fabulous. What You guys have experienced some great success here lately. What type of advice would you give to up-and-coming bands that are uh, trying to make an impact for Christ here in the music business? Right. <laughs> you know, I, I, gotta, I have a, a lot to say about that. <laughs> says to you that your oh your music sucks because I've been there I mean you, you started it out you know you don't know anything but you slowly grow God slowly bringing you up and, and I just just believe in yourself believe in God and go forward the guys from Hardy Avenue joining us here on Christian Music Spotlight. It's time for a little segment. We uh, appear kind of often here on our show. In fact, uh, we'll have a special centered around this particular segment, compiling the best of uh, artists' responses. It's our fun fast facts segment, a chance for you to find out a little bit more about your favorite artists, some random fast facts. First question for you guys, favorite place that you have toured so far as a band? Do you have a favorite spot? Because, uh, you know, I had a lot of fun. Uh, as far as me, I, I had a lot of fun in Fort Smith. We had a lot of uh, uh, fans in Fort Smith. Um, but I also had a lot of fun in California. Uh, oh, nice. And I also had a lot of fun in Oregon. I've been in Oregon. They actually, not, we, I've been there three times. And uh, uh, Oregon is a lot of fun as well. So I can't tell you one spot. <laughs> Guys from Hardy Avenue joining us here on Skype. Next question for you. Do you guys have a favorite TV show you like to sit around and enjoy as a band uh, at home or on the road? Uh, uh, we all like comedies, really. <laughs> uh, anything funny. Uh, you know, some of the funniest shows are the ones that are like the Netflix shows. Like, That's all the time we have for this edition of the show. Special thanks to our guest Candace Russell and Hardy Avenue for joining us via Skype on today's show. We'll see you back here next time for more stories and testimonies behind the songs right here on Christian Music Spotlight. Have a great day. God bless. We'll see you again soon. <laughs>